Hey, what's up everybody all right I cannot tell you guys how many emails I've gotten over the years from people asking me how to open the third eye meaning the pineal gland they're looking to activate their pineal gland and there's nothing wrong with that in itself but I think with all of these People over the years who made videos, written books about the pineal gland and opening the third eye, they make it sound so beautiful and so fantastic that somehow instantly, if you do this, your life will forever change for the better. And in some cases, that very well may be true. But there is an insidious side that happens when one opens the so-called pineal gland you're going to see things that is very very off-putting very uncomfortable and for some of us very frightening and terrifying some things that is just going to be very hard to deal with because it will surely contradict much of what we have been taught as the truth or reality and some of us who have very fragile egos who have a superiority complex and so on and so forth may open the mind's eye if it's a genuine mind's eye opening and see that everything that they have been taught about themselves and others and vice versa is nothing of the sort that's a hard pill and a hard reality for some people to deal with. I mean, to the point where suicide is the option. They just want out. They can't deal. Or those of us who had an instant eye opening activation and we're just on these extreme roller coaster rides of anger and frustration and discontentment. So ultimately, what I'm saying is. If we are not mentally, psychologically, and physically strong and grounded and clear on what we are doing, it can really be a detriment, ultimately doing more harm than good. My platform overwhelmingly shared what to expect when these things happen, how to cope with it when it happens, how to discern finding our own unique way of strengthening the bodies that we're in because as I've said before these bodies are not only vessels for our elevated or expanded consciousness but it is our launching pad it is our temple it is also a filter a buffer and a protector and if it is weak and out of balance due to abuse doing drugs, drinking, getting high, highly compromised in some kind of way, this is going to affect how you respond emotionally, psychologically, and mentally when the mind eye is activated. So here's why you never really heard me encouraging anyone to just run out there and open their mind's eye. Now, I did warn people that if this is something that you want to do, you need to do X, Y, and Z. And I did explain X, Y, and Z is what you will likely experience and what you will see and what you will come to realize. In other words, I'm sharing and giving proper preparation 
so that in most cases, when we put in the proper preparation, the proper groundwork, and we stay diligent and consistent, it will happen on its own because it's like a flower. The right season, it will flourish. It will just open up because now you did the right preparation and groundwork to handle what comes along with it. Unlike someone like myself, I was born with this extrasensory perception. Actually, our entire existence, our entire being is an eye. So the mind's eye is only opening, yes, a higher than normal perception of things, but it still does not and will not mean that we will still see and know all there is, all that has been, and all there is yet to be. Again, there are layers to this. So even when we open the mind's eye, we still have work to do. Just as someone such as myself who was born with the extra sensory perception, I simply just grew into it as I continue to grow into it. I've been put through all kinds of tests to see if I am psychologically or mentally ready for the next level. And when I go to the next level, it's because I put in that work. I toiled in the field. I handled emotional pain, struggle, and strife without resorting to smoking, drinking, and doing drugs and became fortified, stronger, and wiser in the process. I've learned from the errors and mistakes in the past and not tried to look for some kind of magic pill or some shortcut answer to something that I am being called to task and challenge to overcome and this is what I've been sharing and showing you guys by example all of these years so if we're someone who is caring about what people think about us we're desperate for the acceptance of others we're doing drugs we're smoking we're doing alcohol we have to do certain things to feel like we belong like artificial things to feel like we belong if we're not courageous enough to stand on our own square no you're not ready to be trying to open up your pineal gland you're just not if you are not afraid to be your own person and you handle the challenges you grab it by the bullhorn your challenges your struggles and you see it for what it is but don't let it break you or make you feel hopeless then yeah you have what it takes. Keep on building. Keep on growing. You're someone who has a very fragile ego. You hate diversity or you fear someone who operates and thinks and expresses himself differently from you. You're not ready because you're talking about opening up your pineal gland where you will surely see some diversity that will truly stretch your viewpoint of what is possible your viewpoint of reality i'm talking about different life forms you can call them alien extraterrestrials interdimensionals whatever you want to call it. yes they do exist ultra terrestrials yes they do exist so if you're someone oh they don't exist that's crazy don't bother trying to open your mind's eye because you're not ready that's just the reality of things so we're all down here being challenged, called to task. We've all been given something to cope with, to overcome. It's all aiding in our mental, psychological development. You have at reach, when ready, very, very powerful vices that can either lead to self-destruction, destruction of others, or it could be the extreme opposite. It could be empowering and uplifting and empowering for others as well. So it's all a matter of the consciousness of the individual. If you're not ready, it's literally like giving a four-year-old a loaded gun, a button to an arsenal of nuclear bombs. That's just how powerful the potential is. Not for everyone on earth, but those of us who are soul beings children of ultra terrestrials you see you're talking about being prepared to be 
put in a position where you will be overseeing worlds and civilizations. It's the level of mind power that it would take for God level beings to do that is going to require a very, very powerful, strong minded individual. But there are no shortcuts to getting to this place. That's just the reality and no one can do it for us. And again, when we put in the groundwork and we show ourselves worthy, all of these things will simply unfold as a natural occurrence anyway. And when it unfolds, we know for a fact we are able to handle all that comes along with it, no matter what level or layer of our mental, psychological development that we're on. All right. So that's it for me. Stay tuned for the next installment. And by all means, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this is your first time hearing an Astro Boo Baby video. Thank you. I'm back again. I'm back again. I'm back again.